Welcome to this GiftWorks video. In this video, I want to talk about required fields. Required fields is a feature that was added with the release of GiftWorks 2015 and gives you the ability to select which fields for your donors and donations are required when adding or editing a donor or donation. Well, let's get started. Well, let's head over to the settings section of GiftWorks. I'll click the settings button at the top. And the second option, fields, lists, and more. I click there and then the two options that I'm looking for are manage required donor fields and manage required donation fields. And let's go ahead and set up some required fields for our donors. So I'm going to click on manage required donor fields and on the left hand side I'm going to see a list of available fields that I can require. And on the right hand side I'm going to see the fields that I've selected that need to be uh, entered when you're uh, adding or editing donors inside of GiftWorks. So I'm going to go ahead and just do first, middle, and last name. And I'll scroll down and I'll say that, uh, I'll just say job title is required. And I'll actually we'll do status as well. We'll say that status is required. Now it's given me an, it's given me a warning here saying that basically because the status field is not part of the customized add dialog process, which I'll show you that in just a moment, it's basically saying because you've made it required, now you need to be able to see it when you're adding new donors. And I'll point that out in just a moment when we add a new donor. So I'm going to go ahead and just click yes. And I'll see the list of fields uh, that are now required. First, middle, and last name, job, title, and status. I'm going to go ahead and click on save. Once I do that, now I'm ready to, sh to show you and we can look at uh, how GiftWorks now enforces that these fields are required. So I'm going to click on go to my donor landing page. And I'm going to click on add a donor. And I'm going to just type in the donor's name. I'll just say it's Bill Smith. And click on next. And I'm going to see some visual indicators here. I see some red asterisks when I'm uh, looking at my add a donor process. And it's telling me that first, middle, and last name are required. And you'll see a little indicator down here explaining why those asterisks are there. Keep in mind too, you'll notice there's an asterisk next to display name. Uh, this is because this, this display name is always required. Uh, GiftWorks requires a display name. Even though you didn't set it up a moment ago, GiftWorks is still requiring that. So just keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and let's leave middle, let's leave middle name blank now and click on next. You see GiftWorks is now going to point out that, that this field is, was blank and it requires a value. And it's only giving you an option to go back. It's not letting you continue this process. So it's really going to help enforce those policies that you're setting up. So I'm just going to go and I'll just say Bill G. Smith, click on next. Okay, first goes on. We're able to continue the process of adding a donor, which I'm going to go through. I just won't provide much information here and add my groups, add my mailing list, and I'm going to come to my last screen. You'll notice that there's uh, two red indicators here uh, for job title and status. If you remember status, um, when we added status, it gave us that warning, basically saying that status wasn't on the screen before, but GiftWorks went ahead and added it because you've indicated it's required. Let's leave these both blank and try to go by it, and you'll notice that GiftWorks is saying that job title and status are required. If I go ahead and include a job title, click next, now it's indicating that status is still required. Go ahead and I'll just choose it's an active donor. Click on next, and now I can go ahead and finish up. Now, that's adding a donor, and GiftWorks has enforced that, uh, that those fields are now required. Now let's go in, I'm going to right click on Bill, and I'm going to edit Bill. Now, GiftWorks also enforces this when you're editing a donor. So I'm going to, I'm going to clear out the, the middle name again. Actually, we'll leave that, we'll just clear out Smith. And I'm going to click on the Save button at the bottom. And you know that GiftWorks warns me here. So if I'm editing a donor, GiftWorks is going to provide me the same kind of warnings to make sure that those required fields are always required. So let me just fill that back in. If I scroll down, now status is a status and job title are sort of drop down fields. So I'm going to go ahead and blank this out and click on Save. GiftWorks once again says my status is required. So it is enforcing those required fields to make sure that your, your, your organizational policies, the things that you're indicating, these need to be required pieces of information that they're enforced so the people using and entering this information um, are going to be able to uh, make sure they comply with the organizational policies related to your information. Now let's also head over and look at one other area if we could. I'm going to click on settings. And there are other ways to add donors and one of those other ways to add donors is using Smart Entry. If you're familiar with Smart Entry pages, it's sort of like our bulk entry sort of tool. You can enter in a whole bunch of donor donation information uh, in sort of a spreadsheet like tool. So I'm going to click on Smart Entry pages and I'm going to going to use our simple donors page. I'm just going to click on use this page. 
If you're not familiar with Smart Entry, make sure you go ahead and watch a video about Smart Entry, it's especially if you need to enter a lot of information at one time. We have some videos about Smart Entry, so make sure you check those out. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'll just put in Steve. Uh, actually, I'll just put in uh, Fran. I'm going to skip over Miller. And I'm going to click on Verify Smart Entry. You'll notice I get a Smart Entry error right here. And if I click on it, it's going to say job title is required but not included in this page. You must specify a value for middle name. Status is required. So even in Smart Entry, you're not able to get around the required fields that you've set up. So GIFWorks will always be enforcing those, uh, those required values uh, through the different uh, methods within inside of GIFWorks. Now there is, let me get out of here, there is one place that smart uh, that the required fields will not be enforced. And that is, if I go under settings, I go to importing. Now if you're importing information into GiftWorks, if you're familiar with our import tool, which we have a lot of videos uh, about how to use our import tools as well, um, we do not enforce required fields in, in, during an import process. Uh, there are a number of reasons for that, and one of the, the, the foremost reasons is that because we do believe that anyone importing information is probably going to be uh, going to be sort of, I'll say, administrative in terms of their capabilities, uh, have administrative access to GiftWorks since you can uh, lock the settings area down in terms of secure it. Um, and so that's not, that is an area that we do not enforce required fields. So just keep that in mind when you're using required fields. But GiftWorks will enforce whether they be donors. And we didn't go ahead and set up donations uh, in this video. Uh, but the same exact thing applies when you're requiring donation fields. So uh, if you want to enforce certain fields that are required when entering every single donation, you can do that as well. So we really hope this new feature uh, not only uh, helps your information be cleaner, uh, be more uh, aligned with your organizational policies, but ultimately what we hope it does is allow you to keep uh, better information so that you can do better fundraising with better results toward your mission. Thanks for watching.